Hey, this is Ben from DevFarm. Uh, I want to give you a real quick, quick, quick demo of uh, a feature in an upcoming build, in the next build. Um, th this script, you know we've been interpreting PowerShell scripts and representing those as workflows that are runnable in the last uh, last video. Uh, let's go ahead and hit insert and I'll talk about it as it's going. This is my test box which has churn if we can count to 10 or or less to get this particular one. But this is a more complex uh, script than the previous ones because we're not just doing one-liners, two-liners. We're actually doing uh, conditionals, things like if then, if else, if else, if else, and uh, you know, switch statements and for each loops and things like that. Uh, so it's a big win for us. Uh, we're sort of sneaking up on it, being able to interpret any and all PowerShell script as a workflow and for it to be runnable. You can see this particular uh, script, uh, the things to take note of, uh, let's see, the uh, the comment here uh, on the first line, since it's attached to the first line, ends up being a description, uh, which uh, comes through as a uh, pop-up tooltip. You see here it's an annotation on that particular activity. Uh, that's kind of a cool syntactical uh, sweetness. Uh, the if-else has four branches, just like it does in the script that got interpreted. Uh, the other thing, nothing to notice is that the conditions are all strings. These are, this is straight PowerShell. You can write any PowerShell you want to in the condition. Uh, if you wanted to, you can add a new branch or remove an existing branch from this FL statement. Uh, all the conditions are just straight PowerShell. Those will be evaluated at runtime. Uh, you see that the second column here, which you know, lines up with this second else if, uh, has this pipeline. Uh, GCM select first five and sort just like you see here, and of course this right host. So let's go ahead and uh, flip to the output pane and uh, hit play. Let this guy uh, just in time compile and play. This course could be deployed like any other workflow anywhere else uh, as a web service to the agent, uh, back into PowerShell. Nope, you see there it is executing, going right down that second pipeline just like we expected it to. And spitting out some output at the end. Hello, my name is Troy. So uh, that's it. Uh, I said real quick demo. Uh, hope to see you guys at VMworld. And, uh, you know, keep pounding on the app. We definitely appreciate it. Uh, we hope um, within the next two weeks or so we get completely 100% there where we can take any PowerShell script, no matter how complex, uh, and then show that as a runnable workflow, uh, which you can then redeploy or, you know, push out to an agent or, or what have you. So, again, thanks a lot and uh, more videos to come.